She retired from the bank 21 years ago where she worked for 40 years because she had to take care of her mother. It was difficult for her to meet her friends because she stayed at home. So she bought a PC. It was because she read an article in a magazine that said, if you have a computer, you can talk to people at home. She joined an online group and learned how to use computers on her own. She learned how to type and draw. Since then, she has opened her eyes to the internet and ID world by creating sites for the elderly. She created computer education textbooks for senior citizens and opened a website. Then she fell in love with the ACT programming. She bought a Macintosh PC and taught herself the ACT development programming language, Swift. Even when her PC broke down and she couldn't do anything for about a month, she didn't give up on developing the app. And finally, she created an iPhone game it called Hignaden. It was a game in which traditional Japanese dolls, which can be easily enjoyed by the elderly, were displayed on shelves on the screen. When asked by a reporter how she came to develop such a game at the age of 81, she replied, Games made by young people are not fun for the elderly with slow hand movements. I asked them to make a game app for the elderly, but no one was interested. So I made it myself. This story A is about Masako Wakamiya in Japan, called Super ID Grandma. She is incredibly active at the age of 81 and says she is too busy to take care of her health. She also appeared in TED Talks, where she said, There's nothing you can't say about old age. Look at me. I learned computer when I was 60 years old. That's right. It's not about age, it's about motivation. Age is just a number if you are motivated. If you're hesitating about your age, try as boldly as Grandma Wakamiya did.